what do you look for in a girl what should you look for in a girl now if you're the kind of guy who cares about the quality of a woman and you really know that in the future you're gonna get married you're gonna have children and you want that wife right the wifey type who is gonna be there for you in so many different ways what qualities do you look for besides the obvious obviously you want to be physically attracted to them right i feel like that's like the number one thing for in any relationship right so you are physically attracted to them now more than just attraction like oh she has boobs and butt more than that is she well groomed does she take care of herself her hair her nails the way she smells her teeth or is she just always kind of bumming it like maybe she's really hot and she has a nice body but she's kind of like doesn't really care about her hair like that or grooming in general i feel like that is something that you should care about now it's not to say that she has to get her nails done every two weeks sometimes a nail chips or you don't have time to go get your nails done that's a little different i mean she can still groom her nails at home she doesn't have to go get them done um her hair doesn't have to be done all the time but like is it presentable why does it matter i feel like it has to do a lot with deeper layers like are they lazy right because eventually you're gonna want a wife who can cook i feel like this is a great quality to have they say that the key to a man's heart is through their stomach and i really believe that when i first met my husband now uh, we were dating and I cooked for him. I cooked some enchiladas and he was just like blown away. He like fell in love. He's like, oh my gosh. Now, if you're the type of guy who your mom cooks, you know, meals for you and this is something you care about, this is going to affect your relationship. If the girl that you like or love can't cook, if you're the kind of guy that loves a home cooked meal and your mom cooked for you, this is going to make a difference. Now, if your mom never cooked for you or if it was all takeout or you don't mind going out and you don't mind that she doesn't know how to cook, that's fine. Sometimes there's deal breakers, right? Is this going to be your deal breaker of whether or not you're with the girl? Maybe not. But if there are two girls that you just don't know which one to go for <laughs> and one of them knows how to cook, more than likely you're going to go for that girl. Why? Because she will cook for you. Like she's going to feed you. She's going to feed your children. She's going to make sure they're eating healthy meals or at least home-cooked meals, right? So I just feel there's something about a woman who knows how to cook, and I really think it's important, and sometimes it's undervalued, but I really, really believe that this is a quality every woman should have. If you agree with me, give me a thumbs up. Like I said, it goes kind of hand in hand with like, is she lazy because can she wash her own clothes and fold her clothes and hang it up? I mean, Sometimes there are girls who are fortunate enough that they have a housekeeper and they do these things for them But what if you can't provide that for them? Normally in a normal marriage the woman, you know, they wash the clothes, they fold it Sometimes the husband helps as well, which would be great But if you're dating this girl who is just so messy and kind of a slob and doesn't clean up after herself little things like after she's done eating does she clean up after herself you know your wife is probably gonna have to cook clean wash the dishes wash the clothes sweep mop now i'm not saying i'm the perfect <laughs> housewife because believe me i like my mom i'm latina and my mom was like it's an embarrassment to hire like a house cleaner because you should be able to clean your own house and mop the floors and sweep and what do all these things but i got really busy okay because sometimes women are ambitious and i helped my husband run his business and i got really busy and we have four daughters and i was like can we hire a housekeeper and so i had help once a week where the housekeeper would come and sweep and mop and help wash the clothes and fold and stuff it was like a help but i mean not that i can't do it i still would do it but sometimes women they need help but can she do it that's the question like if she needs to do it can she do it if you can't afford a housekeeper is your house going to be a mess because i had a friend who he would complain to me and eventually he got a divorce but he would complain that his wife was so lazy like she would get up late she wouldn't dress herself she would stay in pajamas i mean i think she was in depression to be honest with you but that's no excuse like she was in pajamas all day she wouldn't brush her teeth sometimes she just didn't even care to like throw out the trash she would leave the dishes there for him to do the dishes 
she wouldn't really cook she would like order takeout all the time and he was just like so tired of it so this is what i'm talking about like just because you're physically attracted to someone or you think someone's fun and and whatever it's the outer shell what does their inner shell look like so are you attracted to her spirit i mean i know i am going deeper here but like if you believe in god does she believe in god can you two connect in that way spiritually can you have those kind of conversations are you both on the same page in terms of what it means to live on this earth are you only living to buy expensive things to be materialistic is that all that you both care about or do you care about something deeper and is your mission to actually go to heaven after you die what is it that you care about spiritually and maybe you don't believe in god maybe you don't care about that maybe you're just spiritual maybe you have i don't know whatever it is that you're into most of the time if you both believe in the same thing it will be a stronger connection just because you're both on that same page and on the same wavelength and you kind of see the future in the same way so this is something that you really want to ask yourself and it's not to say that someone can't change or grow and grow spiritually and i'm not even just talking about religion right so it doesn't have to be religion it can be on another level do your spirits intertwine in that way where it's a good flow right because you're going to be living with this person for the rest of your life I mean, this is why I'm making this video. What do you look for in a girl? You're going to be dating, right? And you are probably going to be with this person for the rest of your life. Are these qualities the qualities that you can live with for the rest of your life? And flaws, right? Not everyone is perfect. So you have to pick and choose what it is that you're willing to put up with. Are you willing to put up with her maybe like not cooking, but everything else she cleans, she does a great job in every other aspect of the life then then that's what you put up with or maybe she can cook and she does everything else but she's not really good at cleaning and that's something you're willing to put up with you can hire a cleaning lady right so it just depends all i'm saying is just be aware that there are different qualities and you have to know what you're willing to put up with and where the boundaries are where to draw the line if you agree with me give me a thumbs up i think a big thing also is like does she make you laugh or do you make her laugh when you are together are you guys a good mesh like are you enjoying each other's company or does she take herself too serious sometimes there are girls who are just so stuck up and they are they could be beautiful stunning i mean perfect but they just have a nasty attitude they're stuck up they won't really accept you for who you are they expect certain things out of you and sometimes you might not be able to give them those things so you have to look at that too like if you're with this girl who you can't make her happy and she's always bossing you around and she's controlling and she's negative and nasty and mean to people and puts people down and gossips and there's all these bad qualities about her is that no right that's not what you want to look for in a girl you want to look for a girl who is respectful who respects you who hears you who understands you a girl who is nice a girl who has morals and ethics and hopefully comes from a good family and maybe she doesn't come from a good family maybe she was abused or you know there's people who go through things in life but what is her character what is really underneath was she strong enough to get through that is she still humble no matter what? Maybe she came from a very, very rich family. She has rich parents and they're controlling and they're snobs, but she's different. She's like, no, I'm humble. I don't want to treat people that way. I care about people. I care about the heart. I care about the soul. I care about what's inside. Um, you know what I mean? That kind of girl. I feel like that's the kind of girl who is the girl that you need, who you need to attract, who you need to be aware does exist in this life, in this world and that's who you're gonna have a great marriage with and you'll be able to have children with her and raise children there's another thing is she loose is she going around you know with different guys and not respecting herself and her body if you're young this might be the case with some girls and it just means that she's immature this is another thing is she mature because you might be ready to settle down and be in a relationship and all that good stuff, but maybe she's not. Maybe she's in her fun phase and she's like, I'm not being tied down by anyone and I can do this and do that and be with whoever and I break hearts. And 
there are different types of stages that people go through in life as well. And if she's in that stage and allowing herself to just be there and just doesn't care and is disrespectful, then why? Why even be with her, right? So you, you want to make sure she's not in that stage where she's immature. You want a mature woman. You want a mature girl. And someone who has ambition, someone who maybe they don't know what they want to do in life, but they have goals and they know like, oh, I want to move out of my mom's house or depending on your age, like I want to save up for retirement. I want to buy a home. I want to travel the world, right? So know where her mind is be attracted to her mind okay if you're that kind of guy if you're a quality guy which i'm gonna make a video on what to look for in a man make sure that you watch that because i feel like those are some of the qualities that you also want to have right so you can't expect all of these things from a girl or a woman if you <laughs> are bumming it if you're lazy if you're not willing to do all these things if you're not reading books if you're not smart all of these qualities that i'm talking about them think about it for you as well and obviously for men it's different but you get what i'm trying to say be very much aware give me a thumbs up if you agree with that comment down below let me know if you have any other qualities or things that you think a guy should look for in a girl and what do you think about the whole cooking situation or the cleaning thing maybe you're like oh my gosh i'm rich okay i'm about to be a multi-millionaire a billionaire my wife does not have to cook or clean okay but what about everything else what about all the other things i said do you care if she's smart do you care if she reads do you care if you can have an intellectual conversation with her think about all these things right there's deeper layers to it but i just want to know comment down below what is it that you care for what are the three top things that you will say nope they need to have this or else it's a no-go i am very interested in knowing and if you're not subscribed to my channel already subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video besitos